Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica. When we last left off, uh, we needed to go and get the Hellbird, didn't we? Yes, because we need to use that so we can start opening things. And right, yeah, so we need to go get the plates or the proofs, I believe they're called. So actually, one thing I am going to do, thinking about it... We're going to put back Chris's gun, his handgun, because it's, you know, I've been testing it quite a bit off camera, uh, loading old saves and whatnot and just running around. It's really crap. <laughs> like, I mean, really, it's it's not a good weapon at all. Um, I, you know, given the choice of Claire's gun or Chris's gun, it's kind of a no-brainer, really. Uh, also got an interesting comment from Reva uh, saying that I could have made the worm boss a lot easier by using the explosive crossbow on him. Uh, interesting, actually. I never thought about doing it that way, to be honest. But um, I don't think I've ever used explosive arrows on the gulp worm. But yeah, that's definitely something that could be fun to use. But look, check out this hunter here. Like, literally. A hunter taken out with the handgun. It, you know, it's just so OP. Uh, you couldn't do that with Chris's handgun. You just, you can't do it. <clears throat> Not without taking damage anyway. You know, there's just no possible way you can get that many, you know, rounds off. Out of the way. Get out of it. Get, get going. Get. Uh, I guess we could kill these guys, but you know, we're so close to getting out of here anyway. There's little point But there we go. We can actually take damage there, but you can just you can just see this handgun Like you know when you've got a freaking handgun in this game that renders single hunters just a non-threat it yeah <laughs> the power discrepancy between Claire's and Chris's handgun is ridiculous ridiculous like Chris's handguns just wank it really is anyway let's cut off the electric and grab up some of these proofs uh, actually what okay just gotta have a bit of a space check here uh, we'll take these proofs because we need those back in the diorama room I don't know what you call that the picture room diorama room uh, and then we need to give the button a bit of a tug should we take these zombies out i mean is there any point in killing these zombies to be honest i, I don't think there really is uh they are fairly easy to dodge anyway because they're zombies so you know we're just gonna sneak around you get fucked that guy's actually got an explosive on his back but yeah rather keep the bullets to be honest because where we're going we're going to be needing them that's for sure uh right now we will oh that's right yeah because we've got to go fight the album well i say fight the albinoid uh the adult albinoid there's actually no point in fighting the adult because you just like it's such a silly little boss you just jump into the water and nab what you want and then get the f out of dodge um so yeah a bit silly really uh, you can fight it of course but you're just you're gonna end up taking a lot of damage and i just don't see the point it was like a cool enemy in theory but it just it really sucks when it comes to execution uh i think i'm gonna drop the shotty back Oh, we've used some herbs. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to drop the shotty back for now. Because we don't really need it. What we, what we could use, maybe, I guess. We give these a go. We're going to have to fight sweepers in a minute. Now, sweepers are poisonous hunters. Um, they're no more dangerous than a standard hunter. But... They they can and most likely will poison us. So actually, I suppose thinking about it, uh, we'll take the grenade launcher, to be honest. I can't remember how good the grenade launcher is against the sweepers. 
Uh, it's probably all right, I guess, I suppose. Maybe. Uh, been a long... Ooh. We could use the acid rounds. I guess. That will give us more range. But then, you know, the... Mm, do we try acid rounds on them? Although, if we use those, because we're going to get more of these rounds in a minute anyway. Uh, I'm trying to think, because we, we kind of need a lot of item space, to be honest. Let's drop back. Yeah, let's go with the acid rounds, just for no other reason than uh, experimentation. You know, Let's get freaky with it, you know what I'm saying? Let's grab one of those. Let's grab one of those. Let's grab one of those. Let's mix ourselves up a mega herb. Just because these sweepers, they're, they're not to be trifled with. <clears throat> um, I think that's fair to say. They really are not to be messed with. They're pretty nasty sons of bitches, to be honest. Now, <clears throat> best way back. Um, definitely not that way. We need to go back through there. We could go up. I do start getting turned around here as well. Uh, I always forget where I'm going. Yeah, we can just go straight up here, can't we? And this is where we're going to run into our little sweeper friends. This place really is a maze. There's so many different like ways to go and you've got lifts and ladders and ugh, lifts and ladders. That's basically what this is. This boils down to. And yeah, it's definitely a bit more of a confusing part of the game. Except I'm, I'm definitely not an expert in this game. Ooh. Right. They're not dead. Actually, oh, we did get poisoned as well. Oh, that sucks. Didn't really need to use that, to be honest. Um, we could have just used a blue and a, a red. Uh, a blue and a green, sorry. That would have been, like, absolutely fine. Uh, okay, well, I I mean, I guess old old Baz is right, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> acid rounds are ex very powerful against living things um yeah acid rounds in in this game are just anti-hunter weapons to be fair okay well let's start making our way back to the elevator and hopefully we can give that uh, switch a bit of a tug and get the fuck out of here now good thing uh our buddy chris here knows how to pilot harrier yeah, we're not going to. We're not going to question that. We're just. We're just going to nod and agree. Come on, there we go. So where? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. We actually saved a good few shotgun shells there. I mean, like shotgun shells. Ugh. Shotgun's an interesting weapon in this game. It doesn't kind of feel as good and as powerfully raw. Uh, as in some of the older games, you know. And I don't think the shotgun actually detaches the head uh, in this game either. There's that... It does have that, like, satisfying head splodge... Expl uh, we're going the wrong... Yeah, we're going the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> I always go the wrong way there. It doesn't have that, like, head pop, um, sadly, in this game. But, you know, and I'm not sure if you could blow legs and things off either, thinking about it. Uh, I don't remember really using the shotgun too much. I mean, we probably will, uh, you know, because we've got it. We might as well use it. Uh, and it is a very good weapon. It really is. There we go. That's what we need to go. But, yeah, it's definitely not up to the standard of the shotgun in the first three games. Uh, oh, uh, I think it's first floor. I'm pretty sure it's the first floor. It is. Okay. Now, we could possibly get poisoned again where we're going. Ooh, hello. Nothing here. I thought those zombies came back in this corridor. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I was going to say maybe on a different difficulty, but there are no different difficulties in this game. What do we actually have on us? We've got the proofs. We've got, yeah. We've got, we've got enough for what we need. All right, let's turn these lasers off. It's actually a... Uh, 
a lot of items that we need to pick up in a minute. Possibly should have dropped the handgun, maybe. Because this is like a nice little item dump, which is cool. I mean, technically, we're going to replace some of the herbs that we just used. Because we just, we just used a cocktail of like, I don't know, three herbs, which... Uh, we kind of really didn't need to do, but we do have two boxes of handgun, uh, shotgun shells here, which, you know, you don't say no to two boxes of shotgun shells in the Resident Evil game. Hell no. Uh, we've got a green. Is there another herb here? No. Unfortunately, this is locked as well. It's locked. I can't open this. I'm so angry with myself um, that I didn't come back and uh, pilfer these like cabinets it's really annoying ah never mind anywho we have spiders these spiders are rather nasty to be honest they're actually are they the hardest spiders in resident evil i don't know about that they they definitely do more damage they they've knocked them up a notch let's just say that much yeah we're gonna be out of yeah, we're going to be out of item space. There's so many herbs here to pick up. Really should have. Oh, God damn it. Uh, right, let's combine these two. I hate combining green herbs. I really do. I hate doing that. It, it just feels like a, uh, a waste, I suppose. Should we combine? Yeah, maybe. Just, just in case we get poisoned. Now, what items do we have down here? Yeah, there's our halberd. Which, we definitely need that bad boy. And here is our albinoid friend. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty ugly. And he's also basically harmless until you get into the water. Like, he won't hurt you at all. He can't hurt you when you're just uh, up here however as soon as we get into the water it's kind of like a different freaking story now he will electrify the water and that will actually um, you know that will hit you pretty much wherever you are in the water which sucks so much penis yeah like that I mean the range on that attack is huge you know Run, and we're already injured. Oh, God. Now, you can't actually hit him from here unless he gets really close to the edge. And, like, he's not the hardest boss. No, that doesn't even hit him. Uh, he's not the hardest boss in the world, but he's just humongously irritating to fight. Really irritating to fight. So, we're not even going to bother, you know. There's no point. We've got, like, a nice amount of items here. And... You're just going to take huge amounts of damage by fucking with him. So, oh no. Really? Really? Ugh, fucking cheap shot bastard. Ugh, we're not poisoned at least. We're not actually hurt either. So, I guess. I guess that definitely could have been worse. But that was a little bit of a cheap shot, I will say. Uh, I had some nice comments as well about this uh, LP, which has been lovely to hear, uh, about the thumbnails from Joe, um, and that's really, really nice to read. Always really cheers me up. It's always it's nice to hear that you guys are actually, you know, enjoying these videos. So, thank you for that. Right. Let's go. Uh, now, if we... Yeah, we're on... Now, there's, the thing is, there's actually quite a few ways. Well, I say it's quite a few ways. It's like two ways you can actually go about doing this. But, like, because you can use the ladder next to the save room in the spider corridor. And you can fuck around with putting the shotgun back and picking it back up. And all that noise and irritation and stuff. But... Why, though? Because, you know, I suppose, actually, yeah, if you did that, it might be a little bit quicker, I guess. But you can just go around the houses like this, which is fine. And this is also a very safe way of going. Um, right. OK, 
Okay. Uh, let's go out. I think the spiders are gone now. Yeah, they are. Uh, interestingly enough, I thought at one point in this game... Now, I'm starting to wonder if there's differences between the two versions, apart from the two extra cutscenes that you get with the X version. I wonder if... There's another version of this game because I swear I remember hunters in this corridor at one point. Two hunter robots. Uh, maybe, I mean, I guess I'm wrong, but I'm sure I remember hunters in this co uh, corridor. I need coffee. Oh, no. Last pitiful gulp of coffee. Oh, no, that's savage. Okay. All right, anyway, well, uh, let's... We're going to want that. We're not really going to need this uh, now. Let's drop those in there. Um, are we going to get... I don't know. There's not, I don't think there's anything that potentially could poison us now. We don't need health. Uh, I might take... might take a knife. Is it worth taking a knife? Thing is, one, you know, as I've said many thousands of times, with Claire's upgraded handgun, it, you know, it's so powerful that unless you're going to come up against like multiple hunters or sweepers or, I mean, even multiple bandersnatches, you could waste them pretty easy with it. All right, let's go use this. And let's get out of Rockford Island. Quite a cool little setup we've got going on here. Just brings us up a nice, Hold on, Claire. I'll see you. a nice fresh Harrier for us to use. Well, thanks to the ground crew, we've got this thing prepared and prepped for us. It actually doesn't look like it's in that good a condition, to be honest. It does look pretty grimy and rusted. Oh, that's such a cool shot there. No flight suit, nothing. Don't need one of those. Music's pretty boss here too. <laughs> I like that little can of oil. <laughs> yeah, when's the last thing this thing got serviced? Well, I guess it doesn't matter because it's just... Uh, done its final journey I suppose okay so here we are and that looks like um, Alfred's Harrier just chilling literally on ice <laughs> uh, right well here we go caution emergency evacuation elevator hmm yes seeing you a little bit later I, I would wager well let's start exploring now, things are definitely looking a little bit rougher in here since uh, we left. I'm curious to use the knife on this tentacle. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we can just use the knife on this tentacle. I don't know how much damage this thing actually does. Is it hurting us? I don't know if it's hurting us. Or if it's just like pushing us back. I guess we'll find out in a minute. But these things are really annoying. And they also... Yeah, okay, that is actually hurting us. Alright, well, screw the knife then. Now, if you go to walk past it, it will try and push you back, but, you know. Really, dude? Guess we can hit it from a decent way away. Yeah. Now, uh, I did try using the shotgun on that thing. Because I've done quite a bit of testing. Um... A shotgun takes like, I don't know, like five shotgun shells to just to like you know, like knock that thing out. That's 
that's a lot <laughs> of shotgun shells. <laughs> like, when you can just use a handful of handgun bullets or a knife. Uh, I mean, technically, I guess using the knife's a bit, a bit of a risky move. Uh, because, obviously, it does hurt you. Now, yes, remember here. The dreaded, the dreaded corridor full of moths. Well, you'd be happy to know that the moths are gone. So there was much rejoicing. Now, we can use the Hellbird here. Like so. Yeah, I'm really annoyed, actually. Really salty that we got hurt by that bloody tentacle. Uh, we've got a paperweight. Well, we'll have that. And a file. Alfred's Diary. Uh, January 30th. 30th. There's a sealed room in the hallway located inside of the Antarctic facility. I don't know what's hidden there, but I do know how to get in. I can use the three jewels that each one of our three family members wear as proof of being a legitimate descendant of the Ashford family. The only problem is I do not know how I can gain possession of my father's proof. February 17th, I finally succeeded in entering that sealed room. I never could have imagined that such an insane secret existed regarding the birth of both Alexia and myself. I hate my father, that fool, Alexander. Now it's obvious that we were merely created in an attempt to cover my father's blunder. I can never trust him again. I must regain the glory of the Ashford family with my sister. I have nothing to be afraid of as long as Alexia is with me. March 3rd, Alexia carried out the experiment on the human body that we've been talking about. Our useless father must be happy now, since he can finally contribute to the Ashford family. The only thing we should be careful about is the butler, Harmon, does not become wise to our activities. The experiment resulted in failure. Our father was useless after all. Even worse, he turned into a dangerous monster that is completely out of control. We tied him down and locked him in the underground prison cell. However, Alexia seems to be close to a solution. Beyond all my expectations, she now says that she wishes to conduct the experiment on her own body. On top of that, she feels that she must be kept asleep for 15 years in order to accomplish the experiment. Thanks to that idiot, I can't see my dear Alexia for as long as 15 years. Alexia is going to sleep. With all of her trust, relying on me. Now, I am the only one who can protect Alexia. Yeah, you can see why old Alfred here started to go a little bit dotty, can't you? I mean, I guess we'll take the ink ribbons, sure. Um, being left alone, finding out that he was basically created so that uh, Alexander could create a perfect clone. Uh, and I believe uh, it kind of escapes me a little bit. I think... Um, their father actually wanted Alexia, but Alex, um, but Alfred, I think, was an unwanted byproduct. He didn't actually want twins, but that's how it came out. It, there's something like that. It's been a very long time since I've actually, you know, read the lore of this game. But something like that is sticking in my memory. Uh, I suppose we're going to munch a herb down anyway. Right, yum, yum, yum. Uh, no, we're going to... Let's go get some items. Let's go grab up some things. We we'll go do this uh, room up here, and then we'll return to the save room. Eh, I think we should be uh, out. Leave these guys hanging around down here. It would be terrible if they woke up later, wouldn't it, and jumped out on us or something. Uh, or, oh, talking of jumping out, yeah, there's a new mechanic that the zombies in this area have. And, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's kind of cool. They, there's, like, a parasite in them that will burst out. Yeah, that's... That's fun. Now look at this. Obviously, uh, Chris, uh, Chris, um, Claire, and idiot Steve have completely flooded this place. Uh, well, you know, not really. Um, Claire's doing just the moron Steve who literally can't do anything right and is useless. And also, as um, Reva was saying, Claire's so I just it's so weird that Claire is so you know infatuated by Chris. Uh, by Steve trying to save him and all the rest of this rubbish. I mean, yeah, I get it. There's nothing in there. I don't think 
I get the fact that he probably feels sorry for her. Or she feels sorry for him, I should say. But he's such a fucking spineless drip. I mean, the amount of times that, especially earlier on, he was calling her dead weight and all this other stuff. Uh, I mean, oh, I suppose he did save her once or twice, but only for purely selfish reasons. Look at all these zombies, like, hidden in the ice as well. Really cool. <laughs> Literally cool, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, anyway, well, I guess we're going to need the octavalve handle. Nice. Let's go. Let's go before these jerks wake up. Oh, too late. Oh, I love that sound. Oof. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Evening, gentlemen. Now, there's literally, like, no point in fighting these guys, either. But, you know. I guess we might as well do our little part. I'm also not sure how these zombies got so strong that they would uh, break out of ice. Thick sheets of ice are actually pretty strong, as I'm sure most people are aware of. If you get too close to these guys, a parasite will burst out of them. Uh, and it will attach onto your back, kind of like the parasite from the moth. It's kind of similar, but different. Would have been nice to show it off, actually, but... Where's the last one? Oh, you're all the way over there, dude. Come on. Come get some fresh death. There you go. It's probably pretty horrific as well to be chewed up by a, a you know, a freezing cold zombie. Ugh. Imagine that. Icy hands gripping at you. Icy teeth and mouth ripping your, your skin off your bones. Oof. I mean, maybe it numb the pain. I don't know. But yeah, they, they're definitely super strength zombies. Let's just say that much. Anyway, let's go. Let's go check this room out. This is the machine room, if you remember correctly. Uh, this is where we had that caged zombie all locked up. There he is. All right, there, buddy. You having a good time? You look like you're having a good time. Allow me to uh, put you down and out of your miseries. Ooh. See that cheeky bastard go for that that leg grab there. Oh, you naughty, naughty little sausage. That was delicate, wasn't it? Uh, but again, we're just illustrating it, just how overpowered Claire's handgun is. Like, seriously, this thing's insane. Absolute insanity. I don't think there's anything else out here. No. Uh, but we can go in the cage now. And in the cage, we will get the Duraluminum case. And some shotgun shells. Lovely. Very nice. You can see the only, if there is a drawback from Claire's uh, handgun, is it just destroys your ammo uh, level. It just, you know, it's crazy. Uh, and boom, really? Yeah, we're almost out of time again. So I think it's time to go back downstairs to the save room. Uh... Oh, 28 minutes, really? Fuck me. Okay, well, all right. Well, we'll we'll call it here, I suppose. We'll go drop uh, the aluminum case down uh, and save the game. Uh, should we wake these guys up? I guess, yeah, we might be able to show the... Uh... Yeah, okay, let's go walk, walk this way. Oh, hi guys. Yep, there we go. And I can show you the parasite dude. Which really does just get you into a little bit of trouble here. I don't know if they can do multiple parasites or if it's just like a one and done deal. I'm not really sure. Yeah, even when they go into that like super fast charge mode. You just have no chance in hell uh, against the rapid fire because you have to remember like the handgun is a fairly weak weapon um, but that's only due to its rate of fire 
Uh, the handgun bullets actually do a fairly solid amount of damage. So when you can just like rapid fire them off like that, it's... That's why I like to use the knife so much in the beginning of the game. Because you can just save all these bullets and really enjoy them later on with this gun. Uh, anyway guys, we're out of time. So uh, actually, let's jiggle our inventory around. So let's get ourselves ready for the next video. Uh, even though I'm not going to be playing this now for... Uh, probably a week, I suppose. Um, now, it's all right. We've only got 58 shotgun shells. Yeah, it's fine. Put that back. Uh, we're probably going to need that. Yeah, we, uh, what else are we going to need? We're going to need that. Yeah, that'll do. I'll probably forget anyway in a week's time where we even are. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.